Woman who didn't know she was pregnant boarded the plane then the disaster occurred. Dale Glenn was dozing off on a Delta flight from Salt Lake City to Honolulu last week when his 19-year-old daughter abruptly elbowed him. Dad they're calling for a doctor, she said urgently. About halfway through the six-hour flight Glenn swiftly sprung out of a seat. I'm a physician. What can I do? He asked the nearest flight attendant. She told him that a woman on the flight was giving birth in the bathroom. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now back to this story. While a mid-flight delivery would be alarming in any circumstance, it was especially so in this case. The mother was unaware that she was 29 weeks pregnant when she boarded the plane. I had no idea, Lavinia Levy Mungai 38 said in a recorded video interview, that RMU Ta resident was headed to Honolulu for a family vacation and started experiencing severe stomach cramps during the flight. It turned out she was actually in labor. This is a three pound baby, not a six to 12 pound baby, Glenn said, explaining the preterm labor is usually faster giving the baby small size. While in the bathroom, she had the presence of mind to catch the baby and call for help, said Glenn 52. Soon after though, she passed down. The scene was chaotic as flight attendants searched for healthcare workers while trying to keep concerned passengers calm and made the commotion. Fortunately for Munguia and her unexpected premature son, whom she later named Raymond, a team of medical professionals happened to be on the flight, including Glenn, who is a family medicine physician at Hawaii Pacific Health and three neonatal intensive care unit nurses from Missouri. The nurses who were all taking a vacation together were immersed in their respective TV shows when suddenly we heard someone call out for medical help, said Lonnie, Bamfield 26, a nurse at North Kansas City Hospital. I want to see what was going on and see her there holding a baby in her hands, and it's a little. Her colleagues Amanda Beating 45 and Mimi Ho 27 sprinted from their seats to help. Although the three NICU nurses treat premature babies daily, they had never done it on an airplane, they said in a recorded video interview. Banfield and Ho focused on the baby, while beating help Muna deliver the placenta in the bathroom. Glenn was switching between the two patients, though he was most concerned about Raymond. He was not breathing very well, Glenn said, plus the baby was non-crying. Normally you wanted to hear more noise, and this was about as quiet of a delivery as you can get. Given the baby's concerning condition and the fact that they were 40,000 feet in the air and still three hours from landing, the healthcare workers with the help of airline staff and passengers mobilized to form a makeshift and NICU. Medical supplies were scanned, so they got creative using an Apple Watch as a heart rate monitor and shoelaces to cut through the umbilical cord. They also made a mini oxygen mask with first aid tape and a baby-sized beanie out of one of the passengers' worn Reebok socks. Their primary objective was to keep the premature baby warm since he had no fat on his body and could get cold very easily. Glenn said, We basically made our own little incubator with hot water bottles and blankets. Because they couldn't measure the challenge blood pressure and oxygen levels, we had to really watch how the baby was picking up. Glenn explained, That first hour was really tricky, but fortunately, this is a tough little kid and steadily his color improved, his breathing quieted down and he was warming up. Mom was recovering too. Our biggest fear was having her and the baby crashing at the same time. When you have a rescue like this, you have two patients, not one, Glenn said. Fortunately, she remained stable, especially considering how shocking this was. It has been very overwhelming, Munga said. After all, not only did she deliver a premature baby in the middle of a flight, but she also didn't know she was pregnant in the first place. This guy just came out of nowhere, she said. Holding her newborn son two days after the fly, Glenn called her condition a cryptic pregnancy, which occurs when a woman is pregnant, but doesn't know it until late in the pregnancy when labor actually begins. It's often due to a hormonal imbalance. It's more common than people realize. Glenn said, estimating that it occurs in about 1 in 400 pregnancies and happens more frequently in women with irregular menstrual cycles and first-time mothers like Munga, who don't recognize the signs. What is far rarer than a cryptic pregnancy, Glenn said he's giving birth on an airplane. 
I was really grateful to have a full and ICU team, he said. She and this baby were so blessed bursts on airplanes are extremely rare. So what are the odds that you're going to have a full team? Happy Mother's Day right there. Munga knows how fortunate she and Raymond are to have had a medical crew on that plane that day. I'm just so lucky, she said. If they weren't there, I don't think he would be here. To show our gratitude, she asked Glenn's family to choose a middle name for her son and his daughter thought of the Hawaiian named Kaimana, which means power of this seat. It's fitting Glenn said, considering who was born flying 500 miles over the Pacific. Short scenes from the in-flight escapade were compiled in a viral take dog video, which captured Raymond's first crisis, the planes finally landed in Honolulu. Travelers erupted in cheers as a medical response team wheeled Munga and her son off the aircraft. This was a shared experience that everyone was going through, Glenn said, adding that many of the passengers played a critical role in keeping Raymond stable. Passengers shared diapers a blood glucometer, a thermometer, blankets, and anything else we asked for. There were a lot of heroes on that flight, he said. Everybody started working together and it was this incredible feeling of teamwork. Munga and Raymond were taken to Kapi Alani Medical Center for Women and Children, where Raymond is expected to stay for several more weeks. Both he and his mother are doing well and Glenn has been in regular communication with a family. He and the three nurses went to visit Munguia and Raymond at the hospital last Friday. We all just teared up she called his family and said, we're all his aunties sent home. We're very emotionally invested in this little man that could be. It was just so wonderful to see mom and baby together said Glenn. You look at all the things that happened and it was pretty miraculous. It's definitely one of the highlights of my career. But going forward, he quipped. When I travel, I'm going to bring a larger first aid kit and a spare neonatal. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.